Hello everyone and welcome back to Stars End. I'm your host, 2005 Guy Row 2, or should I say, welcome back to my desktop. <laughs> uh, the reason why we're currently on my desktop is because I wanted to give, throw a little bone out there for you guys that I'll be doing quite a bit of live streaming um, on the 24th, a mm, couple of hours from now, after I've had a little bit of a kit because I've uh, been up... Uh, for quite some time um, and I'm currently installing the new version of Unity for Star's End. Um, apparently it's not going to be uh, Unity version 20.3.14 F1. Uh, uh, apparently it's a slightly higher version so I'm downloading it again and I'm going to get it uh, set up properly again uh, do a small test to make sure that the whole thing is running properly. Uh, once that's done, uh, I shall see you guys hopefully within about maybe six or seven hours, maybe ten at the very most, uh, I hope. Um, and then we can do a live stream. Uh, I will be going through well, the new version of Her Star's End. Um, I've seen that there's quite a lot of changes that have gone up on the testing server. Um, because it's a new version of Unity, I suspect that there's going to be a lot of bugs. Uh, I've actually just seen a couple of bug reports go up from T. So we're going to have a little look ourselves as well, and we're going to have a little peek at all the changes. Um, hope that's right with this. <laughs> But uh, we're going to have a little bit of a look and also shows uh, everyone that's been asking how far is the um, other upcoming changes coming along. So everyone can basically see uh, as is um, what kind of changes are currently on the testing server. Bear in mind, everything that's on that server is subject to change, and I do mean everything that's on there is subject to change uh, so some things that we might see on the testing server may not be in the update um, it all depends on if we can get it all working properly uh, hopefully steam does not do another update at the same time or one day before stars end does an update because every time it does that it screws up the update for the game and it's not just stars end that has this problem with uh, steam updating all of a sudden and then uh, screwing everything else up I've noticed it with uh, icarus and a couple other uh, current early access titles which are currently in beta format um, it seems that it screws up a lot of games when Steam does an update without telling everyone. Um, so that all said, we're going to uh, have a look at it a couple hours time. Uh, I can't put an exact time frame on it, I'm afraid, um, because uh, I need to have a little bit of kit and get ready and everything else for it. And of course, I need to make sure that uh, the whole lot is working before we can actually go on live. Uh, so I'll be doing that to ASAP, and uh, hopefully some some of you might join in while we're live. If not, I hope to see you guys after the live session or sessions, uh, because I'm aiming to go through the whole day's worth. Uh, we do have um, one episode of, I believe, uh, Valheim going up first thing in the morning, around about 6 a.m., uh, well, 6 a.m. GMT. Uh, so it'll probably be about 8, 9 o'clock GMT uh, when I uh, I can go live. Uh, just so that uh, people that are, let's say, the early birds that actually want to see the 6 o'clock videos that are put up uh, can actually do so. Um, and then hopefully some of you may join in in the update uh, or the... Um, behind the scenes so just to throw that little bone out there for you guys i'll be going live close to eight nine ten o'clock gmt um I hope, i'm hoping 
uh, and uh, I hope to see some of you there. Uh, so that's all said. I'm going to leave this raw clip here and hopefully catch you guys when we go live.